everybody, it's Jenna from the Pixel Connection. Today we're going to be doing a first look at the brand new Fujifilm X-T5. We're going to be going downtown Cleveland to Edgewater Park and we're going to be hanging out with Gabe Wisoko, a local Cleveland photographer who exclusively shoots Fuji and has some amazing work. Let's go! So just some technical specs about the X-T5. It does have a 40.2 megapixel imaging sensor just like the X-H2. It also shoots in 6K at 30 frames for video as well as a 10-bit 4 to 2 to 2 video ratio. It has up to 13 stops of dynamic range with F-Log2 and it has a 160 megapixel pixel shift multi-shot similar to the X-H2 as well. So upon first glance of the X-T5, it has very similar look and feel to the other X-Series cameras. Um, just like the X-T4, you're going to have the same dials at the top of the camera where you can change your settings. Things like the ability to change from still to movie right here as normal. Um, it's very easy to use handhelds. I mean, we've just been walking around for a little bit here and this is very easy to have. You know, if you're just carrying it around, and you're kind of on the go. This is the perfect camera for that. It's not super heavy. On the X-T5, you're very fortunate to have the brand new lens from Fujifilm, the 30 millimeter f 2.8 macro lens. Uh, this is an incredible lens and something that's really cool about it is that it's dust and weather resistant and it can work in extreme temperatures as low as negative 10 degrees Celsius, which is awesome to have, especially considering that we are down here in Cleveland, a very windy and chilly day. And to know that this lens is still functional in this kind of environment is really cool. So something that we definitely want to emphasize during this video is that this is a pre-production unit. So just a couple of the technicalities of this camera. It can externally record Apple ProRes RAW or Blackmagic RAW. Um, the mechanical shutter can go up to 15 frames per second. The electronic shutter can go up to 1 180,000th of a second. And as usual, it has kind of a similar other features that other Fuji X-Series cameras have. And it does have that nice seven stops of IBIS inside, as well as the 40.2 megapixel sensor. Something that we're very excited to do is we're about to go meet up with another photographer, Gabe Wasilko. Gabe Wasilko is kind of a Cleveland legend. He is a very big landscape photographer. If you're from Cleveland, you've probably heard of his work. He's also an avid Fuji shooter. Um, we're excited to have a guest star in our videos because we haven't done this before, but we're going to go meet up with him and see what it's all about. All right, so we finally have Gabe here with us. Um, we're back uphill at Edgewater Park. We're by the Cleveland sign. We're in a great spot for shooting and talking about the X-T5. So just a little bit of background, Gabe. How long have you been doing photography? So I've really been doing photography for two years. I picked up a camera and really focused on photography in January of 2021. Okay. So just a little under two years. Ooh, okay. Do you have like a favorite subject that you shoot, like a favorite time of day where you're like, oh my gosh, like, I love that. You know, I love sunrise. Sunrise yes. is my favorite. Yes. It's so great to wake up and, and just kind of take in that moment while a lot of people are sleeping, especially in the summer when it's like 4.45. It's a little quiet out. It's quiet. I get my coffee, pour it, get in my Corolla, drive down to my location and, and I'm good to go. Oh, I love it. So doing all this, you shoot primarily with Fuji, correct? What kind of drew you to Fuji to begin with? You know, really when I looked into Fuji, and, and I started with Fuji on the video side, so mm -hmm. I saw amazing reviews about the quality, the 4K, the 120 frames per second, the 240 slow-mo. That kind of got me into that lineup of Fuji, but really what has kept me here is a lot of things like the color science. I love the color science and, and the tacticality, the being able to like see the buttons, feel the buttons, the look. It feels old school. It yes, feels very unique, and it's, it's fun to kind of, that was a big part of what helped me learn photography and the, the, the ins and outs and, and, and aperture and ISO mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. shutter speed. That was kind of the, the way that Fuji designs their products and their cameras really helped me learn photography better. Over the weekend, you did have a chance to take out the X-T5. Yeah. What are some of your first thoughts about it? First thing, it's very similar to the X-T4, the one yes. camera that I kind of started photography on and started videography on. It's very similar to the X-T4. I love just the way it looks. It's a classic design, so that was a big kind of um, selling point that I loved. I like the screen actually. So the screen isn't a fully articulating screen, so it can Damn pop the up. Screen. And then kind of if you're doing a portrait kind of uh, tilt, that's a really great kind of um, feature. It's very similar to what they have on the GFX lineup that I shoot on as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just a unique feature. It's not probably great for vloggers or people who like to flip around the screen and have that. Very true. Um, but 
The, um, the, the screen is great for landscapes and, and being able to put it up on a tripod, um, use an L bracket and really get those shots there. Um, and I just also liked just the, the feel. It felt good. It feels good in the hand. The grip is slightly bigger, I think. Um, might just be me, but it's That's what great... I was saying. It does feel like it's, I'm not worried about holding it. Yeah. No. I was a little stressed at first, but it, you get used to it. There's no. enough there. It's, it's, a, it's a great, it's a great piece of hardware. It feels sturdy. It feels good. And then you get into some of the, the, the technicalities and some of the different pieces there. And you definitely see that improvement from the X-T4, but I just loved it. It really got the creative juices flowing again. The silver colorway on top is absolutely gorgeous. Very old school, very nice. So, um, I'm a big fan of that. Awesome. So with all that being said, um, thank you so much for stopping by, talking about the X-T5, kind of shooting around. We appreciate having you here in the video. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Excited to uh, keep shooting with Fujifilm and, and, and keep creating great content. That's a wrap. <laughs> so all in all, the X-T5 is a fabulous new camera from Fujifilm. If you are a fan of Fuji and you're a fan of the X-Series models, you're gonna love this camera. It does have the same look and feel as the other previous X-Series cameras. We use the dials on top and the overall compact body. Super easy to use handheld. It pairs perfectly with this brand new 30 millimeter lens. Um, if you would like to get your own camera, you can pre-order now from our website at thepixelconnection.com. If you liked our content and you want to see some more of it, you can like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Pixel Connection. I am gonna go get warm. It has been a great time talking to you guys, and I will see you later.